Friday, November 3rd. I am Indra. And I'm Victoria, and we are your hosts for everything sports and Panther news. For our CHS news this week, we are looking at the freshman fundraiser. The freshmen did a virtual popcorn fundraiser on Double Good for their class from October 27th to the 31st. The popcorn flavors are gourmet and cost around $12 with many different varieties. Half of the money goes to Double Good, while the other goes to the people who are hosting the fundraiser. The freshmen raised over $3,500 and made over $1,700 in profit. The ranking for the money made is Mia Moresi with $721, Brianna Marfella with $531, Kyle Molares with $426, Quinn Burgess with $315, and Sagar Dave with $256. They will all get a t-shirt for their contributions. Up next on CHS News, Thursday, November 9th, is Pep Rally in the Tent is Homecoming. Also next week, we will be having multiple spirit days. Monday is Country vs. Country Club Day. Tuesday, there is no school because of Election Day. Wednesday will be White Lies. Thursday is School Colors, which for the seniors is black, for juniors is red, for sophomores is white, and for freshmen, wear all three. Hope you guys are having fun with anything but a backpack day today. Now with Panther Nation. Today, Friday the 3rd, our Cromwell Portland Panthers will be playing Granby. Wish them luck. The Texas Rangers won the World Series against the Arizona Diamondbacks two days ago. In football news, the Jets beat the Giants 13-10, the Jags beat the Steelers 20-10, the Eagles beat the Commanders 38-31, and the Broncos beat the Chiefs 31-17. In the world of boxing, Tyson Fury defeats Francis and Ganu by a narrow split decision. Many of you may have noticed that black bears have been in the news and in our neighborhoods more and more lately. There has been a significant growth in bear population in the last few years in the state of Connecticut. If you feel that it is a safety concern, if you are ever approached by a bear, then a shooting of the bear can occur. Bears can normally weigh up to 550 pounds if a male and 300 if a female. They are about five to six feet long. Be careful and stay safe if you see one walking down the street. The creation of new homes and improving pedestrian safety in the vicinity of Wiley Avenue will be funded with a $7 million state grant. It's when the cost of living starts going up fast that the money is released. New Haven is ranked 22nd in America by U.S. News and World Report as having the highest cost of living. Keeping up with rent and other bills can be a great deal of trouble to some people. The grant is designed to make it more affordable for New Haven citizens to find shelter with a positive impact on street appearance and safety. Now for a look at the weather. Hello, this is Evan, bringing you the weather for this weekend. We're starting to feel the autumn temperatures this week, and Friday is no exception with a high of 57 and a low of 40. You're going to want to go outside for a sunny day on Saturday with a high of 60 and a low of 41. Finally, Sunday is going to be somewhat the same with a high of 61 and a low of 45. And enjoy your last bit of warm weather for the season. Now, back to the desk. Canadian actor Matthew Perry was found dead at age 54. Perry gained fame from the 1994 sitcom Friends, playing the funny and sarcastic Chandler Bing. Mr. Perry was found unresponsive in a hot tub in his home in Los Angeles. The cause of death is still under investigation. After Perry's death, fan, fans gathered to mourn the actor's at the Friends Experience, a storefront recreation of the sitcom's famous sets. Matthew Perry will be missed. In December of 2019, there was a horrifying volcano explosion in which the White Islands of New Zealand, which left 22 people dead and 25 seriously injured. This week, it was discovered that a company that gives tours to the people on the island gave a tour while they knew that there was a risk of eruption. The volcano did erupt, and now the company faces up to $928,000 in fines, but the trial for the final verdict is yet to be announced. Have a great day, CHS. And tune in next time for everything sports and Panther news.